Chesil Beach, 18 miles of shingle stretching along the Dorset coast. Nearby lives one of this country's greatest creative minds, an inspiration to scientists, an inventor, and a man who's made his mark on Mars. He's also something of a futurologist, predicting what will happen to our climate and us in the era of artificial intelligence. First of all, oh, happy birthday, by the way, that was the first thing Thank I wanted you. to say, yeah. Professor James Lovelock accurately measured the extent of ozone depletion caused by aerosol propellants commonplace in the 70s, which are now banned. And he did this using homemade equipment. I invented this thing, and if CFCs were present, it gave a very great signal. I didn't know a damn thing about their effect on the ozone there. We all make mistakes, that was a big one for me. On the other hand, you did identify that it was present in the atmosphere oh, sure. in a yes. considerable yes. way. Yes. So in a way, indirectly, you did add to that argument, didn't you? I mean, oh, you did yes. help with that. In Greek mythology, Gaia was the personification of Mother Earth. Professor Lovelock's written many books about his Gaia theory. It's an idea which appeals to many scientists concerned about climate change. But his priority in the short term is the risks we face from space. What are we going to have to do? A rocket that could deflect an asteroid of the kind that killed off the dinosaurs from hitting the Earth. If we could do that, we would really have done something. The professor and his wife Sandy have lived in the southwest for decades. He says we will fare better than most when it comes to climate change. It will never get quite as hot here uh, as it does in Europe or many other parts of the world, nor will it get quite as cold as it does in uh, our Arctic places because we're surrounded by the sea. So is he a pessimist or an optimist about the Earth and our future? The world's a good place, and I think we'll keep it. But it's up to us. We'll have to work to save it. <laughs>